the uh, drug test and stuff. Yeah.
Thank you. 
So we're like, fuck it, we just like, nailed it. Gave him a nose ring. You're like, here you go, Jason. You can tell. You can say you nailed it. Yeah. Like, I'm just. Yes! Great. Yes. That was funny. That's funny. That's my second mom joke of the day. Yeah.
inhale, we're really turning the head to the right. Like we're gonna look over our right shoulder, keep the eyes closed. Breath still fluid. Exhale, return the head back to center. Take a breath in here. Exhale, turn the head to the left. Keeping the eyes closed. Chin to the chest. Shoulders rolled away from the ears, listening up nice and tall. And just draw a little semicircle with your chin. to the other side. Left hand on the right knee, right hand behind you. We'll go ahead and come back to center here by your side. Bring your legs out, kind of roll the ankles around, the little toes. We'll crisscross the opposite way. We're going to do a little bit of a breath work. So we're going to use our right hand. Now, if having your arm up in the air doesn't feel very relaxing, you can always take your right knee underneath the elbow. It's called alternate nostril breathing. So you're going to just go ahead and breathe in and out like you normally would. Using your right middle finger. Wait, sorry. No, using your right ring finger, sorry. You're going to close the left side of your nostril, inhale through the right, close the right, exhale left, inhale left, close and exhale right, inhale right, closing the right nostril with the right thumb, open the left side, exhale, inhale through the left.
take two more breaths here. Bring your hands onto the bolster, lift yourself up, bring the soles of the feet together, knees out wide. And then a couple of options here. So you can do the same thing. You can kind of scooch the bolster a little further away from you. You can rest the bolster on your feet and rest your hand or your head in your hands. Or if it feels okay, you can kind of lay yourself over your bolster. Kind of keeps you from going all the way down to your edge because in restorative you only go about 60% of your edge. Props are there to help you to support you. more breaths here. You go ahead and come up and just scoot your bolster out of the way for now. Bring the hands behind us, bring the feet onto the mat and just windshield wiper the legs from left to side to side. Now we're actually going to set ourselves up to turn away from our bolster. So grab one block, place it at the back end of your mat. Yeah, just one. And go ahead and set it on the medium setting. And then you're going to take your bolster and you're going to plop her right over it. Now your second blanket can be used for underneath your hip so you can pop it down right underneath the bolster or you can have it up top for your head so go ahead and turn and face towards the front door so that'll bring your left hip up to the bolster I want you to go ahead and bend your right knee take it back behind you and then left leg will also bend kind of like a pigeon your legs will look Somewhat like that. Yeah. So this back leg is where you're going to feel more of the stretch. So you can take it back further if you want. You can adjust once you get down the road. Or if you're like, nah, you can stack your legs. So, like that. hips going to be up to the very end of the bolster. You're going to reach the arms up as high as we can. Then we're going to turn twist towards the bolster. One hand's going to go on one side, the other hand's going to go on the other side. And then your head is going to rest onto the bolster. You can also lift your head, turn it towards the tree wall, or if you want a little less of a stretch, you can just keep it looking to the right. And if you need to adjust that top block, feel free. You can take it down or move it up higher. And then I like to put my arms underneath my bolster like I'm giving it a little hug. There you go. Okay. Now if you do have your head turned towards the tree wall, take about four or five breaths like that and then flip it back in line with your chest.
five more breaths here. In your fifth exhale, we'll bring our hands to the ground. Gently lift ourselves away from the bolster. Turn to the right. Right hip comes up against the bolster. Pass all the way back around. Lovely back if you like. When you're ready, reach the arms up, framing the bolster, weighing over it. Arms go underneath, and head rests down. Whatever you need to do to make it more comfortable for And then we're going to come into our heart opener. So the bolster and the block are going to stay the exact same. Turn to face towards the front of our mat. Back is up against the bolster. Go ahead and just lean back. Your arms will come out to the sides. If you'd like, you can bring the soles of the feet together, knees out wide. And have the feet on the floor and just knock the knees towards one another. It's really up to you. You 
you need a little extra support for your head, you can grab the other blanket, place it underneath here. kind of out in a T position. And it's a pretty big, also it's a heart opener too, but it's just a, like a whole body jacket. And if you need to maneuver the block to like a higher setting for your head to feel more comfortable, go for it. Like I said, some people do this without the block. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Some people like that feeling that's like kind of hanging. <laughs> I need a chiropractor. <laughs> I've never been to a chiropractor before, but it's really cool. That's I hear I hear your you know, miracle
Take two more breaths here. Then we're gonna roll to our right. And your hip bone will be on one bottom end of the bolster and then your arm will go underneath your head. And then we'll take the left arm alongside your ear over your head as well. Yep. So you can have your head resting on your hand or you can extend it out long, kind of like you would if you were laying down. Lots of help with that. Or not. The top arm can go up alongside the ear. Almost like you have your hands lifted up overhead. Bring your left hand or left arm alongside you. Go ahead and roll back onto our back for a breath and then on to the other side. The so left arm underneath your head, right arm alongside the ear, or maybe even a little bit back behind your head. Legs are in whatever position you want. You can have them straight, you can have them bent. Move your right arm down alongside your body or in front of you. Left arm will come in onto the ground. We're gonna use that left arm to lift us up. We're gonna come over onto our hands and knees. And all have the square bolsters, correct? Yes. So we're going to stand them up, right? And we're going to come onto our knees. We're going to bring our forearms onto the bolster, kind of clasp your hands, and then let your head come in between your arms, forehead towards the floor. So it's almost like a downward dog when you're using the bolster. up, take the bolster down onto the floor, and then turn it, uh, I don't know how to, how to say this, like hot dog style, what do I don't know. <laughs> yeah, hot dog style, I mean, I feel like that would be right. So we're going to come into a restorative version of downward dog, which is kind of funny because it's, I mean, <laughs> it's just funny to think of downward dog in a restorative pose. So you're going to tuck your toes, lift your Hips and your head is going to, the idea is for it to rest on the bolster. Now I'm a little tall, so I have to kind of flip it upwards. Just kind of rest your head on it. 
To happy baby or happy baby into child's pose. So the arm's gonna be on either side of the bolster. Pick your favorite side to turn your head to, and then just rest over your back. Yeah. Knees out nice and wide, bolsters in between your legs. breaths here. Hands on the mat, we'll go ahead and lift up. And sit the hips back, bring the seat forward. Take it even longer. Yeah, it's better to have it real loose, and then you, if you have your belt buckle on one side, you can just tighten it as you kind of go down. Yeah. I mean, other than doing like that one leg. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, the 
strap. I like the strap a lot. The block's my favorite, but the strap is definitely close second. Blinky can be brutal. We're gonna hold here for a little bit. If at any point you feel uncomfortable and you need to pop out, just undo your feet. Or if you have your belt in your body, you can loosen the belt. Loosen it or tighten it as much as you want. Take one more breaths here. Go ahead and lay flat on your back. Extend your legs out. Reach your arms up overhead. Reach out through your fingers and your toes. We'll go ahead and bring the feet onto the edges of your mat. Windshield wiper your legs to the right and to the left. And then notice what side your bolster is on. And then bring the opposite side's leg into your chest. And give that knee a little hug. Grab the, hip, grab the knee underneath. Flex the foot. Point the toe. And then we'll go ahead and extend the other leg out nice and long. And just relax the legs out here. Keep that knee hugged in. And on your exhale, you'll take the knee over to whatever side your bolster is on and you're going to rest your knee on that bolster. So if it's on the right side, you're using the left leg. If it's on the left side, you're going to use the right leg. Right arm or left arm is going to be out to the side, palm face up. Arms are in a T-like position or if that's too much of a stretch, you can just rest whatever knee is bent, that arm alongside you, up overhead. Or whatever feels comfortable. So you have more of a shoulder opener you can take out. Next exhale, come back to center. Give that knee a little hug in and then extend it out nice and long. Push the arms up overhead, big breath. Exhale, just relax here for a moment. And then, whatever side your bolster is on, we're going to lift it, move it to the other side. 
or one little bit of weightlifting for today. <laughs> And then you'll bring that opposite leg into your chest. So my bolster's on the left side. I'm going to bring the right knee in my chest. We'll cross it over to the left for a little twisty McTwister. Left arm extends out. Maybe right arm in a T. You can always notice what side of your shoulders are a lot tighter. We set up for Shavasana. The Shavasana can be done a couple of different ways. You can lay on your back with the bolster underneath your knees. You can lay on your stomach or on your side with the bolster either like where you're hugging it or underneath one of your knees. Arms in whatever position you want. Take these next few breaths just to try to relax any parts of the body that are still holding tension, that are still a little like engaged. any parts of the body try to relax a little more. At any point you need to move to make the pose more comfortable for yourself, please do so.
shoulders around a little bit. Resting the hands in the lap, palms up or down. shedding all their leaves that they don't need anymore, right? So maybe we should, we should shed some shit also. Whether that be people or actual tangible items in our lives or maybe thoughts that don't serve us anymore. So what do you use the next couple of weeks to just think about some shit you need to let go of? Bow your chest. Give yourself a huge thank you for carving out this time for yourself and for your practice. In order to take care of others, we have to first take care of ourselves. Divine light in me honors, bows, and recognizes the divine light in you. Toodle.